Dear friends, this Shabbat we'll be reading the portion of Va'era. We are well into the story of the Jewish people's exodus from Egypt, which started with God bringing plagues on the Egyptians, ten plagues, and ultimately Pharaoh relenting and letting the Jewish people go. Now the question always is, what is the purpose of ten plagues? God could be very decisive and bring in one action, the exodus of the Jewish people from Egypt, punishment to the Egyptians, what was the idea of the 10 plagues? And we are told that the 10 plagues, each one carried a message to the Egyptians as well as to the Jews about what was wrong and corrupt with Egypt that brought them to the point that they were enslaving other people. Where did they go wrong? What are the things they would have to fix or possibly eradicate from them? And the Egyptians couldn't handle it, and at some point they were eradicated. But the lesson was for the Jewish people, what are the things we should be aware of? And what's fascinating is the first of the plagues was blood. And what is the idea of the water turning to blood? I mean, it's inconvenience, it's disgusting. But why was that the first one? What was the message? And we're told that the, the blood of water turning to blood is really to hit the Nile River, which is to Egypt, not just a river, but this is their source of livelihood. To the Egyptians, uh, the Nile River is the success of the land, what made it so fertile. And the Nile River is such that it seems like there's no need for rain or any other uh, blessing from God in heaven, but it's here already. The river is here and it makes everything happen. So their idol was the river. Their idol was the river, which was the source of their parnasah, the source of their livelihood. What does it mean their idol was the river? What it means is, obviously they were idol worshippers, but what it means is, what was they really worshipping? To them, their greatest idol, their god was material success. And that was above everything else. They were ready to compromise on everything else just to be able to have material success. It was all about the money, the money, the money, the greed and the money. This was the most important thing to them. Everything else was secondary. And God's message to the Egyptians was, that's the beginning of the downfall. The ideological idols are something we can talk about, we can discuss. We are, when people are looking for something spiritual, you can tell them what is really spiritual, what's the true spirituality. But when someone is so taken by money and greed and materialism, You can't have a discussion about spirituality. You can't have a discussion about God because there's no place for anyone or anything else. It's only about me and my power and my strength and and what I control. And therefore, the first thing that was hit was the water that turned into blood. Money we saw today in the last few weeks, how volatile the markets are, how quickly people's nest eggs are wiped out or partially wiped out doesn't take much for all of these monuments that we build based on the money we have, how quickly, like quicksand, it can disappear. Because that's not the true value of who we are and what we can accomplish and what we're here for. Money is a means to an end. Money helps us when we have a road that we need to travel. And money helps us get down that road and make it easier and enables us to do it in specific ways. And this is the message to us as well. We all go out there and we have to try to be successful. And as a Jew, we're encouraged to be successful, ambitious and successful and do well. But what is the thing that we're worshipping? Are we worshipping God and trying to use the money to help us worship Him better and serve Him better and serve His cause better? Or are we worshipping our own power and strength and control of uh, what we have in this world? And that is what the plagues are all about. So as we enter the Shabbat and we start going through the first seven plagues, we should contemplate into the messages to help make sure that we don't fall into the abyss of Egypt in our modern-day Western world where so many people unfortunately fall into the abyss of worshipping money and power and all the wrong things that don't bring you happiness, don't bring you satisfaction, definitely don't bring you popularity. They just bring you down. And may God help that we should all be successful, especially with starting a new year but we should be able to channel the success towards what the true purpose and mission of our life is. That's to make this world a beautiful, godly place. And may we merit very quickly the coming of Mashiach in our times. Candlelighting time in Montreal is 4.06 p.m. Shabbat Shalom. We love you all. May God bless you.